Good morning, everyone. I welcome you all for the course Engineering Geology. Today, we will be discussing about the geophysical methods. First one is what is geophysical methods? Geophysics is the, nothing but a geo plus physics, that is, study of the earth material with the application of the physics. So, the geophysical investigation involves simple method of study made on the surface of the earth. This study is achieved by measuring the certain physical properties and interpreting them mainly in terms of subsurface geology. The next one is important of the geophysical investigation. Geophysical methods are gaining more importance because of their success in solving the variety of problems in geology and then engineering. This investigation can be carried out so quickly, which means larger area can be investigated in the reasonable short time and hence it is time saving. The geophysical instrument used in the field are simple and it can be operated easily. This makes the work so easier, so it doesn't need any uh, skilled labor for its operation. Since the work is carried out quickly, only the physical observations are made. Without use of any consumables, it is economical too. The next one is application of the geophysical investigation. The geophysical investigation helps in solving the regional uh, geology and it also helps in mapping the uh, soil strata in a particular area. It aims at locating and estimating the economical mineral deposits. It also helps in locating and assessing the water potential load and its quality. It aims at solving the problems connected with the geologies. The classification of geophysical methods. There are many kinds of geophysical method of investigation. These are gravity method, magnetic method, electrical method, seismic method, radioactive method and then geothermal methods. The first one is gravity method. As the name suggests, this method makes use of the natural gravity field of the earth. The controlling parameter is the density of the material uh, which can be easily identified by this method. The principle behind the gravity method is that uh, the nature of distribution of the gravity on the surface is analyzed and then the density of the material is determined. The principle is in gravity method uses the relative uh, gravity is the mass loader spring that is with reference to uh, particular material rock if the uh, examined rock is heavier means it will attract towards it more. If it is lighter means it attracts to uh, the extension of the spring will be less. Uh, based on this, the density of the uh, material in the underground can be analyzed. That is, if the surface, if the subsurface has a relative higher body, that is heavy uh, body uh, materials, then the spring extends became longer. If the subsurface has a lighter weight body, means the extension will be lesser. Uh, that is, it contracts, it becomes shorter. Likewise, we measure the, uh, sorry, likewise, we measure or de uh, determine the subsurface material density. Then the parameters measured in the gravity method. The physical parameter of the gravity which are measured during the investigation are variation of the gravity field first one, horizontal gradient of the gravity field and then curvature of the equipotential surface. Of this variation generally the gravity field is measured in terms of milligals and others are measured in terms of electrovolts units. If the surface bodies such as ore deposit, coal, steam, salt domes uh, whose density are different from the surrounding rocks existed, the gravity field deviates from its normal values. 
then expected from this deviation it is possible to locate the in uh, homogeneous body in the surface next one is what are the methods uh, we are used in the gravity methods the different kinds of gravity methods as follows first one is ground logging airborne gravity metering third one is gravity prospecting next one is gravity gravi gravimetry the instrument used in the gravity methods are pendulum for the absolute and relative gravity measurements gravity meter for uh, relative gravity measurements torsional balance for gradient and for the curvature measurements gradiometer for gradient measurement of the above four instruments gravimeter are very popular because of its advantages next one is application of the gravity meters it helps in the exploration of the ore deposit and also helps in solving the regional geological and engineering problems it helps in the exploration of the oils and natural gas deposits the gravity investigation are carried out always during the oil and gas investigation because of their special success in that area in case of engineering problems like mapping of dams earthquake problems tracing the buried river channels the gravity meters can be considerably useful the next method is magnetic method like gravity methods this investigation take the advantage of the natural magnetic field associated with the earth crust and it is also related to the subsurface geology the main controlling property is that uh, is the magnetic field the different uh, parameters measured during the magnetic investigation are total magnetic field that is intensity and direction and the different space components the gravity surveys has their uh, inherent limitation hence for the unique and accurate solution a magnetic prospecting is carried out along with the gravity methods the principle behind the gravity method the gravity method is based on the fact that the magnetic bodies present in the earth surface contribute to magnetic field of an earth in general where the gravity field of the earth or one of the component is measured on a surface and the body possessing the magnetic moment differs from the surrounding rocks uh, that contribute to the deviation in the measurement qualities suppose if we take uh, the gravity field of granite will be uh, somewhat lesser if we experience a different kind of material now then the spike is uh, noted in the variation uh, from this deviation that is uh, to the deviation in the measurements the magnetic analogs it is possible to locate the anomalous object present in between them next one is the parameters what are the parameters we measure during the magnetic field the first one is total magnetic field that is its intensity and the direction and different space components that is uh, vertical component uh, horizontal component inclination and declination the magnetic field is measured in terms of gamma the different uh, next one is equipments the different magnetometer available at the present for conducting the magnetic survey some of them as follows that is kimmet magnetometer torsion magnetometer and fluxgate magnetometer are commonly used for relative measurement of the difference space component of the magnetic field of the other types of magnetometer such as proton possession magnetometer and then rubidian vapor magnetometer are used for the high intensity measurements next one is the application of the magnetic investigation it is used for determining the deviation delineation of the large structural forms that is any uh, space between space or foreign materials in between an area it is favorable for the accumulation of the oil and then gases and it helps in detecting the location of the faults for collecting a star magnetic ion ores by virtue of their inexpensive nature and easy operation magnetic uh, methods are widely used for detecting the uh, ore deposit and then the geological structures